this was the house of the hangman. Those trees right there are literally the black forest, and even today you can hear the wolves howling. Oh, we're making our way to Frankenstein's castle. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Actually, this is a two-way. <laughs> this is a still Street? Yeah, I think that's gonna be the scariest part of this whole experience. <laughs> yeah, that is a two-way. So we're here in Germany and we decided to go on a bit of a road trip this weekend, starting with Frankenstein's castle. This is supposed to be the actual Frankenstein's castle, obviously that's a fictional book, and similar to Dracula's castle, which we went to a few years ago, it's kind of unlikely the author even came here. However, I did read that Mary Shelley, the person who wrote the book, did go on her honeymoon along the Rhine River through Germany and she probably did stop off somewhere along here. And there is a bit of a old story about a doctor who used to stay here and did some kind of experiments with cadavers, with dead bodies. And he was trying to like create an oil that would put people's spirits into animals or something like that. He did some dead body experiments here. But when I go to the Wikipedia page, there's not really a source for it, so this could also just be like a local folklore kind of thing or something that they want to fit into the actual story. I don't know. Regardless, this is Frankenstein's castle. And you can't go into it right now because they're setting up for Halloween, which is in a few weeks. And I will say that what they're setting up looks very good. Probably the best time to visit. I was hoping that the leaves would kind of be changing now. Some of them are just starting but not quite, soon. Frankenstein's castle though is actually just outside of Frankfurt, maybe 45 minutes, so we're starting here. We're going to be visiting the largest pumpkin festival in the world and seeing some cuckoo clocks, eating some black forest cake and whatever else we can find along the way. So we've made it to the world's largest pumpkin festival. It's actually that, I'm not just saying it. It's about two hours away from where we were at Frankenstein Castle in Ludwigsburg on the grounds of this beautiful estate. I'm not sure, it's a very large building. And every year they have this giant pumpkin festival with a different theme. This year, the theme is underwater. So you see seahorses, fish, SpongeBob, there's a mermaid over there made out of pumpkins. Octopus. That's an octopus made entirely of pumpkins. It's a lot of pumpkins. I think this is my favorite sculpture. Favorite pumpkin? I'm gonna go with this one. We also picked up some of these, we almost ate them all. <laughs> pumpkin seeds, toasted pumpkin seeds, they have so many pumpkins for sale. All the pumpkins you see here are real. They're alive, they're, they're not styrofoam. They have an amazing display of all the different kinds of pumpkins, different species of pumpkins, foods, they have like pizzas with pumpkin, pumpkin soup I'm hoping because I keep looking for it. And for some reason there's hot air balloons everywhere. I didn't. I, I'm not sure if it's related, but there's like six hot air balloons I can see just right now. These are all different kinds of pumpkins. I had no idea that there were that many pumpkin types. Well, I guess squash types, right? U.S. Africa, China, Brazil. Some of these look crazy. Yeah, some of them do not, like that has legs. Yeah, where's that one from? And pumpkin soup topped with pumpkin oil, pumpkin seeds, the side of pumpkin bread. 
all your pumpkin dreams can come true here. Good morning. Good morning. We are waking up in the middle of the Black Forest in a town called Freiburg. It was described on the internet as the jewel of the Black Forest, and so far I can understand why. We arrived kind of late at night, so we didn't get to see everything in the daytime, and now that we've woken up and the sun is kind of shining, you can really see that this is a gorgeous medieval town. And I think we're gonna be checking it out before continuing on to a few more stops in the Black Forest. So the first thing that probably catches your eye in the Munsterplatz is this giant cathedral. But if you look right in front of it at this fountain, there's actually a little bit of a backstory behind it. It used to be right in the middle of the marketplace, the medieval marketplace. And that's where the fishermen used to store their live fish as they sold it to the customers so that they could pull them out, slaughter it right in front of you so you know that you have the freshest fish of the day. You can actually see, it, it's kind of a wide fountain. I understand why they used it. Got a lot of fish in there. So this building behind me really catches your eye when you first walk into the Platz. And what I just read was that it actually was an old customs building. So if you wanted to come here and sell anything in the market, you had to go in there first. They would look it all over, make sure it's all okay to be sold here, and then you would be allowed to go sell it in the marketplace. And if you're wondering who these handsome fellows are, immortalized on the outside of this building, they're the Habsburgs. They were like a really big deal. I don't think we really learn about them in the US, but they had like an entire empire, and they loved Freiburg. So they were big patrons, and their whole family is up there. Well, the men, you know, the important ones. So this alleyway has got to be considered one of the prettiest in the entire town. It's gorgeous. But, fun fact, this street used to be called, in English it would translate to the Wolf's Cave, in German it would be Wolf, Wolfschon. But if you look at these trees right up there, that's actually considered part of the Black Forest. I mean, we're in the Black Forest, but those trees right there are literally the Black Forest. And even today you can hear the wolves howling all throughout this uh, alleyway, hence the name Wolf's Cave. So you can see in front of a lot of these old houses, there's an emblem, like a mosaic of what is in there. So the apothecaries have like an apothecary symbol, the barbers have like scissors, the black cat, might be a little bit of an odd choice. You might think pet store or something, but no. Historically, this was the house of the hangman, or the black cat. So this is one of the two remaining city gates. They date back to like the early thousands. Um, but this painting here is actually a depiction of a local legend that way back when there was this really rich farmer who decided that he was gonna come and buy Freiburg because he'd heard it was a really pretty town. His wife thought it wasn't such a good idea, not a good way to spend their money. Nonetheless, he loaded up all of his money into those barrels, drove into town, met with the town council. He said, I'm gonna buy your town. And they're like, let's see the money first. He opened it up and all the barrels were filled with sand. His wife, who again, did not think it was a good idea, swapped out all the money for sand. The residents of Freiburg laughed him out of town and he never came back again. And apparently Freiburg thought that was a good enough story that they want to remember it for hundreds of years. So in 2020, Freiburg celebrated its 900 year anniversary. This tram system has been around since 1901. So that's been around for more than 100 years. We actually didn't even need to take it, but it's probably one of the best running light rails I think we've ever seen. It just stops frequently, it comes frequently. 
it's great. They have a big focus on like sustainability and environmental efforts, but I'm really impressed with this place. So unfortunately, we've only had just a few hours to check out this town, but I gotta say, this is definitely one of the prettiest towns I've ever seen. Love another opportunity to come back here and keep checking it out because there's just so much to see. Every street you go down is prettier than the previous one. If you're in southern Germany, come check out Freiburg. In the Black Forest. In the Black Forest. So we may or may not have mentioned that we're at, we rented a car to drive through the Black Forest and go on this road trip. We drove about five hours yesterday. We're gonna drive another five hours today. And we booked and paid for a Volkswagen Golf. And when I got there, they told me they have a very nice car for me, a BMW X3 M. And let me tell you, it has made this journey so much better, especially because in the Autobahn, the speed limit is a little fast. So we've had some good hours in this car. Is it the ultimate driving machine? Oh yeah. Really pretty. I think if it wasn't raining, I'd be like really tempted to just stop and get out and sit for a second, you know? some nice villages, we had a very scenic drive, we've seen the cuckoo clock, and the last thing on my list is eating black forest cake in the black forest. So, that's what we're doing now. Mm. I forget how like light and fluffy it is. Very nice. Perfect ending to the weekend. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you later. You're gonna help me with this, right? No. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding.